walk inside five seconds later. Five seconds later. Look at how much water this is. And welcome, how's it going guys? I am Matthias, this is my lovely wife. And we're sitting out on our balcony here in the morning on Saturday morning and we heard thunder. He didn't believe me that I heard thunder, so we came out I was out like, here. oh, it's just someone moving some junk. So I, we came out here and then all of a sudden there's this huge thing of thunder and I was like, I'm always right. <laughs> I'm always I'm right. Always right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there's just tons of thunder. Hopefully maybe we'll, we'll let you hear a little bit. Rainstorm. We're supposed to get like lightning rainstorm, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Let me show you the clouds in the sky. All the clouds in the sky are just prepping for prepping for this storm evidently we're about to have. Meanwhile, yesterday it was like 100 degrees, 102 and sunny. and sunny. Yeah, so that's crazy. That's why I was just like, whoa, this is crazy. Are we seriously gonna have a, sto a storm? Okay, perfect. It? It's perfect today too because Amanda and I have decided we're just gonna spend the whole day just watching TV in bed because we rarely- Not just that, we're gonna hang out. Like, you well, know. you hang out, yeah. She's gonna do her beating stuff, but we're just gonna relax and we're just gonna chill because we rarely ever do that and it's gonna be super fun. Maybe have like, a little pizza, but it's gluten free. Yeah. But it's still a treat. But it's still a treat, yeah. Because it's the like gluten free that you kind of shouldn't have. Too much, too many carbs. Too many carbs. I need a muffin this morning. I did buy you a muffin. Boy. I didn't need a muffin though. Walk inside. Five seconds later. Five seconds later. Look at how much water this is. Out of nowhere. That's the craziest weather I've ever seen in my life. Five, at five seconds, seriously. Yeah, so this kind of weather is like not really at all uh, normal for California. As you can see right now, it already stopped. This is in the span of like, this whole thing happened within 10 minutes, which is funny. It's like Florida, when I lived in Florida, it was it was like that. We were like playing outside and then the start to sprinkle would be like, we better go back inside and then pour and pour and pour for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, it was just sunny and bright and we were playing outside again. It's just super atypical for uh, California and stuff like that, so. That's, that's really interesting. I was walking today. I, I walk every morning about uh, like, I don't know, 10,000 steps. And you know, I went to the store to pick up some stuff and just walked. I really enjoy walking and reading and listening to Audible. And if this would have happened when I was walking, I would have been drenched and like so far away from the house. I would have been like, Amanda, can you come get me with some new clothes? So now I'm I robe too. I mean, I still got clothes underneath, but I'm tricking myself into thinking I'm in my pajamas. It's pretty chilly, so we opened up the doors, and usually you go open up the windows because when it's raining and stuff like that, and it's just nice and cool weather, it's just, it feels amazing. It feels like Hawaii. It's just been raining off and on um, the past couple hours. Thunder. Thunder, lightning, our apartment's just like randomly like lighting up and stuff like that. It's really cool. Amanda right now is making some lunch for us, um, and then maybe for dinner we'll go out and get pizza rev as a little treat. But what are you making for lunch? I'm making you tuna. What are you having? I'm having the, the Thai salad that we had last night at your parents. Ah, yes. yummy. Yes. Tuna, 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 huh? All right, so what time is it now? Five o'clock? So no, five o'clock. it's not even five. It's, yeah, it's just five o'clock. And it's Amanda and I have so just been 4.30? Okay, fine, I'm wrong. <laughs> like it matters in the vlog. She's got to get really specific. Um, and Amanda and I have just been playing Minecraft, each of us, me, or her on her computer and me on this one right here, and uh, watching just a tad bit of psych up there. And then this storm is getting crazy, huh, babe? It's getting close to lightning and stuff like that. Well, the lightning has been just cracking, and like right when it lights up our apartment, we can uh, hear it within, I think within two seconds, two or three, two seconds it was, which means I think it's within a mile. Uh, all this lightning is hap is striking within a mile of our apartment. So, kind of crazy. Um, I wish I could. I wish I had the camera open when it did it, but I can't. All right. So Amanda and I, we're out of our robes. Out of our robes, and we decided to get dressed today. I just got a car wash. Yeah, we. Yeah, literally the other day, just got a car wash. Evidently, for the first time in a year, I, she told you guys that we got a car wash for the first time in a year, and I was sitting there editing that footage, laughing my butt off because I wash the car every month. The car would be so dirty. Okay, I want, and my dad no, washed no, 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 it when we were. I want to inform you guys that whenever I get a car wash, I get the inside and the outside done. So that's why every time you got a car wash, the inside was never done. So I was like, oh, he didn't. Actually, um, I just noticed today that my bike was stolen. Our bike was stolen right out from in front of our apartment. 
Yeah. It was chained up and everything. They stole the chain too. They stole the chain. Like who steals the chain unless you knew the combination? We didn't remember the combination. I did too remember the combination. It was like poop or something. I don't know. I, it wasn't that. I'm no, just joking. It wasn't. <laughs> Our camera died while we were out, but uh, you didn't really miss much. We just went to go get a pizza and did some shopping. I bought um, something I'm super excited for for Carpinteria when we go. Um, also, I have a question about that, but this is what I bought, is John Green's little set here. Um, it's pretty awesome, all his books, so this is gonna be taking up my time in Carpinteria. I finally convinced Matthias to read The Faults in Our Stars because I told him how great it was, and he has, and he admitted that he's only 15% in the book. And he's already cheered up a little. Yes, that is true. That is true. Um, the reason why I was skeptical was it was it was kind of a time before I knew really who John Green um, really was, and before I researched him and stuff like that. And then like I heard him on like the podcasts a while ago, and he was he's very intelligent. Uh, the bro those brothers are both just super intelligent guys, and um, so I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll read it because a lot of books by YouTubers. Not to like hate or anything like that, but a lot of them are ghost written. I knew I knew these weren't ghost written because he's written tons of books before that. But a lot of them are ghost written, and, and maybe some of the success of the books are because of like their subscribers and stuff like that. And that's not necessarily, you know, the best thing in terms of what's going to make it a good book. It doesn't make it a good book that it was on like the New York, New York Times bestseller. What makes it a good book is the actual writing. And I can tell you that that's a very eloquently written book um, with really great themes and motifs and just really awesome insight. And that's something that you need in writing and that you can't always get when you have a ghostwriter. When like, when you're trying to communicate an idea to like a ghostwriter, they, they'll communicate the idea but then the stories just end up being like really linearly structured narratives that just don't have like subplots and like themes and, and reoccurring events that like have meaning and stuff like that. So I shouldn't be picky, especially if I'm reading Star Wars books, but I just like Star Wars. But I, those aren't all the books I read. Either way, um, I'm super excited. And these are awesome books. Um, what do you guys think of The Maze Runner? Should I just watch the movie or is the book worth reading? Let me know down in the comments below. But actually, question of the day for today is we're going on a Carpinteria vacation. You guys saw this one coming because we've been on the Carpinteria vacation two years in a row and you can actually see both those playlists. But we want a custom name. And as always, we asked you guys to name the series. It's probably gonna be a five to seven video series. Um, we're excited about it. It's gonna be a lot of relaxing, a lot of exploring, a lot of fun. So let us know down in the comments below about what we should call this series and we'll get some inspiration from you guys because we also have a Seattle series coming up and potentially a DC, Washington DC series. So that's all very exciting. Okay, so we didn't finish up the vlog last night because we kind of just went to bed, I feel like after everything. It was the perfect day to just hang out because it, it was our favorite weather, pouring down rain, kind of chilly, just, absolutely perfect and I'm so happy that it landed on the day where we wanted to do nothing because usually when it's raining we're super busy we have a lot of stuff to do we can't just enjoy slowing down and relaxing and just you know not feeling guilty about playing Minecraft <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow high five what you got there you got a popsicle Dowdy. Dowdy. <laughs> you're making a mess aren't you you're making a mess aren't you Isabella very first walkthrough on the MatCraft Creative Server, and I have to say, it is beautiful. It is just phenomenal. Now, <clears throat> this right here is a library, is 